First, we will need an empty cardboard box. The one I'll be using is a large, rectangular, sturdy cardboard box. You can see it was used to package my bulk order of coffee pods. We will also need some square mirrors. Mine are beveled and measure 5 by 5. Some of these were found at Dollar Tree, while a few of them were picked up at a garage sale years ago. We will also be using one silver rectangular charger plate, a silver door handle, and one rectangular picture frame. This one holds three 4x6 pictures. We will also be using a sheet of craft paper. You can use any style you prefer. I have chosen one that is silver glitter with a beautiful pattern in white. We will need a sheet of mirror tiles as well. To line the inside of the box, we can choose from an assortment of options. I'll be using the silver glitter fabric paper, but if you don't have any of that, you could also opt for a satin shower curtain fabric like this one, or even some basic felt fabric like these either in black, white, or whatever color you prefer. For embellishments, we will be using some silver diamond wrap and silver rhinestone ribbon, both of which I have found in the dollar stores, but I prefer to order mine in bulk from Amazon. We will also need some silver beaded necklace and some additional silver ribbon mesh and a strip of chrome car molding ribbon, which I found on Amazon. To help us with today's craft, we will be using some white acrylic paint or in my case, some leftover white primer from my local hardware store, some white glue that dries clear, some fix all and our handy dandy hot glue gun. Mine is from Amazon. To begin, take the cardboard box and using an X-Acto knife, carefully remove one of the top flaps. Keep the other one intact though. Then, paint the box to cover the original design and words on the box. There is no need to paint the middle portion of each side as that is where we will be placing the square mirrors. And while we work on this, I would like to take a moment to thank all the returning viewers to my channel for tuning in for today's craft project. If you are visiting for the first time, I would like to extend a warm welcome to you. And if you enjoy glam home decor and DIY crafts on a budget, I would love it if you would support my channel by hitting the subscribe button so you can be notified of my future DIY craft videos. Next, measure and cut pieces of the silver glitter fabric or whatever fabric you have chosen. These pieces will be used to line the inside of the box. Here you can see I'm applying some white glue and then I will spread the glue with a foam brush. This will ensure that we don't have lumps when the glue dries. I'll continue to repeat this until the bottom and all four sides of the, of the interior of the box is lined with fabric. Next, I have selected some silver mesh ribbon to cover the edges of the inside of the box. Since the mesh ribbon is pretty thick, I'll be using some small amounts of hot glue to apply it to the box. Next, I measure and cut out two more pieces of the same silver glitter fabric to cover the left and right flaps of the box. Make sure to apply the fabric to the inside flap. And we also use the same silver mesh ribbon to cover the edges. For the exterior portion of the left and right flaps, we will be applying the silver mesh ribbon to the entire flap.
While we allow all the glue to dry, let's work on the mirrors. Due to the size of my box, I'll be using a total of eight square mirrors. The first step is to prepare the mirrors by turning each upside down and using an X-Acto knife, carefully scrape off the felt legs from each of the four corners. We will adhere our first mirror to the box with the smallest side. The mirror will be placed right in the center using a combination of Fix-All and hot glue. Once the mirror is secured in place, take some silver mesh ribbon of your choice and cut to size pieces to frame each of the four sides of the mirror. Then repeat the same steps for the other side of the box. This is what the box with the mirror should look like so far. For the two larger sides of the box, we will apply three mirrors to the center. Lay out the three mirrors and make sure you know where to position them, and then flip each of them over and apply a combination of Fix-All and hot glue to each. I recommend to secure your first mirror in the center, and then add the other two either side of the first mirror. That way, you can ensure that they are placed evenly in the center. And here you can see I have chosen to not leave any spaces between the mirrors. And just as we did before, use the same silver mesh ribbon, cut to size, pieces to frame the mirror. Once this side is done, repeat the same steps for the other side as well.
Next, upon investigating the box closely, I see some exposed cardboard box. So, to clean up the flaps and the edges of the box further, I apply a thin strip of rhinestone ribbon along the edges where you can still see the cardboard box exposed. These are the so small details that will help really upscale your box. Our next step is to take the silver charger plate, turn it upside down and apply a combination of fix-all and hot glue to the bottom and then affix it securely to the bottom of our box. Make sure to place the charger plate in the center. This charger plate will give our box some height so that it doesn't fit, sit flat directly onto the table surface. Once the plate is securely placed to the bottom of the box, let it sit for a while to allow the glue to cure. In the meantime, we can work on creating a lid for our box. For this, we will be cutting out three pieces of our craft paper and inserting them into the picture frame. You'll see here that I also applied a row of mini mirror tiles to the front border of the picture frame as well. This step is optional, but I thought the extra mirror tiles would match nicely to the larger mirrors on the box. To further embellish the picture frame, we will be applying the chrome trim to the sides of the picture frame. For this, peel the backing from the chrome trim and apply the trim directly onto the sides of the frame. The trim already comes in sticker format, so there is no need to apply any glue unless you want some extra hold. Once the chrome trim is applied all around the frame, then remove the blue film to reveal the chrome trim. Once the frame is fully embellished to your liking, it's time to adhere it to the top opening of the box. Turn the picture frame upside down and apply a combination of fix-all and hot glue. The fix-all glue will provide a long-term secure hold, while the hot glue will provide near immediate hold. You will see here that I will be adhering the picture frame to the top flap with the other half of the frame not adhered to anything. This is what our box should look like so far, but we're not done yet. Just like we did before, we will open the box and go in to apply a thin strip of rhinestone ribbon to the edge of the top cardboard flap where the cardboard is still exposed.
Once that is done, close the top down to the box and position the silver door handle to the center of the picture frame. For extra glam, you can see here that I am applying some clear rhinestone gem stickers to the handle. The extra bling will really make the box look exquisite. Our final step is to clean all the mirrors to remove all the fingerprints and marks. You may also want to use a clean dry paintbrush to go in and try to dust off any glue strings that may have been left hanging around from the hot glue. And here is the final look for our mirrored keepsake box. We went from an empty cardboard box that would have otherwise been discarded and transformed it into an exquisite looking storage box that is both beautiful and functional. Comment down below and let me know what you would store in this box and where you would place it. What would you recommend to store in this beautiful box? If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and share it with other creative gems. Also, remember to hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload another DIY glam project. I hope to see you all soon!